How's it going guys and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I'm Simplicity. Hope you're having a wonderful day. And if you're brand new to the channel, we're all about putting your brand, business and impact online through social media marketing. So maybe you want to quit that nine to five job, start a side hustle and create a business that you love. So consider subscribing by clicking that big red button down below, click subscribe and join the creator nation. And as always, if you did enjoy this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. It really does help support the channel, helps us get out there and reach more people, turning their dream into a reality. So today I wanted to do an old favorite. I wanted to do a video on what is on my iPhone 11 Pro Max. Seems to be a rather popular video that people do, so I thought why not try it for myself. So I thought I'd do a quick little video of what is on my iPhone 11 Pro Max. So let's get right into the video. Okay guys, so I've got the screen recording in front of me going and we'll have it here. And I just wanted to show you what is on my iPhone. Now I've got the iOS 14 at the moment. Uh, so that's why you can see a bit of a different setup. So at the very top, I've actually got the new feature of showing your photos. It's really, really cool. It just shows you a brief portion of your photos and it kind of skips through them as the day goes by. Really handy feature. Uh, if you don't know how to add the iOS 14 features, it's really simple. All you do is you hold down the force touch edit the home screen and then you click on the plus button here and as you can see here it gives you all of the different options that you can do to add widgets so it's got your reminders your podcast tips fitness you can search for particularly widgets that you want you've got your smart stack your battery calendar and we'll run through all of the details that i have but if you're curious how to do that it's that simple so i'm just scroll back down here click done Okay, so the very first app that we have here is Mail, fairly obvious one that uh, most people are going to use on a daily basis. So I wanted to keep that right front and center on my home screen. We're not going to bore you too much about that. Next, we have YouTube, of course, because who doesn't enjoy watching YouTube? So I have the YouTube app that I use quite often. Next, we have the camera app and Facebook Messenger. We won't bore you with those, but we feel you know, you should know exactly what those are. Now we also have the widget here, which is what they call the smart stack. This is really, really cool. It goes through about five different features that run through throughout the day. And it bases that on what it believes will be most relevant to you during that time. So for example, quite often when I wake up, it'll actually show the first app that I'm likely to click on. And it will show the first app that I'm likely to click on when I first pick up my phone. I must say it's a really cool feature. Uh, we've got weather here. You can also scroll up. We've got the calendar. You've got uh, your news, uh, you've got the photos, you've got your location or maps, and you've also got the music. So you can skip through those at any point in time. But as I said, that's going to change throughout the day as well. Next, we have Viber, which is just another messenger app. So fairly obvious for that one. We've also got the clock, so you can do your world clock. If you have different family living overseas and things like that, world clock's really handy to have. So it just tells you what time it is for them. Makes it your life super easy. We've got maps, we've got reminders, and we've got another widget, which, which is just a widget for music. And as you can see here, it shows my recently played uh, and all that kind of stuff. So that's pretty cool. At the very bottom, we've got messages, we've got phone, we've got Safari, and we've got music. Fairly self-explanatory, we won't bother going through that. Then on to the second page, we have the widget app, which I must say is really cool. It's also going to show you the battery lives if you have an Apple Watch. Anything that's connected to your phone will show up in the battery widget. So like I said, your Apple Watch, your headphones, your phone, all of that kind of stuff. Uh, really, really handy to keep on the battery percentage app. So I added that widget on my second page. Because you'll find with iOS 14, you can't actually do the percentage of the phone there. So to find out the battery percentage, you have to swipe down and it'll tell you the battery percentage there. I just like the way that it's right there, accessible on the home screen. So it's a really cool widget to have. We've got notes, we've got stocks, fairly stuff that just kind of came with the phone. And for whatever reason, I've left it there. Notes, obviously, you're going to use, but stocks, can't really say I've used that. We've got books, you've got your electronic books and things like that, really handy to have. We've got the App Store, podcasts, Apple TV. If you've got Apple TV, you can link it as an Apple remote through your phone, really handy app. You've got your health app, you've got your home apps. If you've got like Apple lighting and things like that, which I do actually have, you can actually go through and set up your home lighting. So you can have it set up for a certain time. So let's say if it starts getting dark at seven o'clock, you can have it actually on a timer so that your lights turn on at seven o'clock 
Really, really cool features that you can have if you've got your home kit set out. We've got the Apple Wallet, which is your Apple Pay, so you can set up your debit cards and credit cards with Apple Pay. Very, very useful. We've got settings, Instagram, calendar app, FaceTime, photos, weather, and there it is, the Hue Philips Light. As I, as I was talking about with the Home app, that's my Philips Hue Lighting. So I can go ahead and choose any color that I like. It's got timing set. You can pretty much do it at any time. You can turn your lights on or off even when you're not home. As long as you have internet connection, it is going to work no matter where you are. You're able to turn your lights on and off. Each free, we've got files. Files is really cool. You can use that to add any kind of files that you want and you can link that with the Files app. So that can be on your iMac, your MacBook, your iPhone, your iPad, any files that you want to add to that app, you can link it and you can actually use that. Similar to iCloud, but it's just an app that you can use for that. We've also got Find My, which is find your iPhone, find your MacBook, whatever it might be. We've got Shortcuts. Shortcuts is really cool. You can actually set up shortcuts for whatever little daily tasks that you have. So for me, it might be turning my lights on. I can do a shortcut for that and I can just do it in one click of a button as opposed to having to go into the app, turn it on and all that kind of stuff. So definitely play around with shortcuts. It's really, really cool. We've got the iTunes store. We've got Translate, we've got Tips. Tips is a really handy feature. So I've kept that on there. Obviously Contacts, got the Apple Watch app. Very, very handy if you have an Apple Watch. Now we've got Utilities here and a nice little folder. We click on that here we can see we've got voice memos compass measure and calculator all of the utilities that you'll find that you're going to use got the apple store video clips garage band keynote numbers pages iMovie so any kind of editing that i want to do straight on my phone comes with iMovie and i can do that all straight on my phone very very handy we've got itunes u got the fitness app got the westpac app which is for my banking we've got the wish app two degrees We've got the games that I have. So I've got some pretty cool games on here. We've got Call of Duty, Mario Kart, Mario Run, and Angry Birds 2. So guys, if you like some kind of games, I definitely would recommend checking out some of these games. If you want me to do a bit of gameplay, let me know in the comment section down below. I won't bore you with that right now. I want to keep this video as short as possible. But those are some of the games that I play on a daily basis. We've got Kiwi Bank. We've got PayPal. And we've also got the YouTube Studio. So YouTube Studio is really, really cool. If you do have a YouTube channel, YouTube Studio is great. You can go ahead and do all your comments and check all that kind of stuff that you would see on your YouTube Studio on your computer. You can do the same thing on a mobile version of that. It's really great for your watch hours and things like that. Especially if you're trying to get your watch hours to join the YouTube Partnership Program. YouTube Studio is great for that one. I've also got my photography folder. So we've got... Uh, Visco, Focus, Snapseed, and Canva, all really, really useful apps. Canva is absolutely amazing, and it is free if you want to use it. Some really useful apps that you can use to edit your photos with. We've also got Dropbox. You probably are familiar with Dropbox. And we also have Adobe. I've got Adobe Lightroom and Adobe Photoshop. Very, very handy apps once again. We've also got the food app. We won't bore you with that, but clearly I like my food, so I've got all the apps I need for that. We've also got the two degrees, data clock, Uber Eats, Twitter. We've also got PUBG Mobile, another game, very, very cool. Let me out, another game. And we've also got Burger King. Then the DJI Mimo for my DJI there, uh, very, very cool. And we've got Tinder and Snapchat. Now, the really cool thing with iOS 14 is you scrap to the right here, you can actually see your apps library. Now, a lot of the time, I don't know about you, but you might want to keep your apps nice and tidy and you go ahead and you create all of these folders for that. Well, that is a thing of the past with iOS 14 because it does that all for you. So we actually have a look here. We've got suggestions, recently added, social. So all of your social apps will be in there. Productivity and finance. You've got your other utilities, entertainment, creativity. Look at that. It's got my games all done for me. It's got my food all done for me. Education, information and reading, health and fitness and travel. And that is all set up automatically for you with iOS 14. So that is really, really handy to have. So I don't know about you guys, but that is a pretty cool feature that I've noticed with iOS 14. If you do want me to do an iOS 14 updated video, definitely go ahead and let me know in the comment section down below and I can look at doing an updated iOS 14 video for you guys. But guys, that was my quick little video of what is on my iPhone 11 Pro Max. And if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know of any other videos you'd like me to do in the future. If you did enjoy this video, you'll love these other videos. Go ahead and check those out and I'll see you over there. Peace out.